Guys, Kevin might have the biggest mental breakdown of his life. Hey guys, I'm Harris and I have been a loyal follower and subscriber of Meet Kevin for about three years now. I'm sure you've seen a lot of drama about Meet Kevin recently and you've seen a lot of other videos just like this one and I have a few words to share about the whole situation. On Friday, January 21st, we saw Meet Kevin post on his course member live stream that he had sold out of everything. Uh, literally everything <laughs> the guy who has always stood for holding long term never selling and never trying to time the market has done just the opposite so first let's unfold what's wrong with this whole situation meet kevin is not just a person meet kevin is a brand and as a brand while you don't have a legal obligation to act with caution you certainly have the moral obligation to do so what do i mean well let's say you have a kid and you tell your kid not to curse but day in day out you constantly curse surely your kid will adopt that behavior and this is why it's important to lead by example kevin as a role model did not lead by example he has adopted a mindset of a trader and while he claims he's not a trader but more so a student of macroeconomic history let's be real his actions are perceived as a trader's mindset let's also not forget who is adopting this behavior guys let's assume he has about 5,000 course members and i'm just being absolutely conservative because you can see here on average how many views he gets on an average course live stream but let's be conservative let's assume a lot of these views or some of these views are just people pirating their way into his live streams let's assume he has at least 5,000 course members I would also say easily on average the average course member has at least $100,000 invested in the market some have some some have a lot more some have millions of dollars that skew that average up but on average let's assume the average course member has about a hundred thousand dollars invested in the market so if you look at it that way and think of his meet kevin cult as a fund kevin's behavior influences at least 500 million dollars amongst his community not including non-course members which obviously is a much broader audience so half a billion dollars just like that is influenced by kevin's actions so don't tell me he doesn't have an obligation to his course members despite all his warnings about you being responsible for your own decisions and him not being a financial advisor the fact of the matter is he is a financial influencer whether he likes it or not so anyway this recent behavior really alienated a lot of his audience that weren't avid traders but more so long-term investors you can actually sense that his main target audience now is traders and not investors the main plug in all of his new videos is to buy his course so you get access to his buy and sell alerts which is obviously not an, an investor mindset that is a trader mindset i do post every single trade i make in the programs on building your wealth linked down below whether i'm buying puts or closing puts you can also see in his course member live streams now that he promotes options trading and swings trading more than just building your long-term positions the situation just gets worse as me kevin's course members and his subscribers turn against him comparing him to the likes of paper handers and bill ackman you can see a lot of the toxic comments in his discord chat as well as his recent videos you can see his closest friends indirectly make videos about his spontaneous rash behavior you can see the drama created by those same closest friends continuously posting videos about how kevin is destroying his brand and his loyal followers with risky timing the market behavior you can sense the tension between kevin and jeremy in the latest millennial money podcast yeah, Jer jeremy has been very quiet during this time what do you hey you know you're at that moment with somebody you're like you better off not not saying anything so i think we'll leave it there you know what? No, Jeremy, I want to hear it. Honestly, I would not be surprised if in his next video, his thumbnail looks like this or it looks like this. And I'll get to that in just a minute. Kevin continues to get insulted and underappreciated by everyone from the public eye to his close followers to his close friends, sometimes rightfully so. So to Kevin, it's like the world is against him right now. But in Kevin's defense, he might have a lot going on right now. He has to focus on building his five businesses this year that he's been talking about, one of which is likely a fund that he'll want course members to invest in, which probably at this point won't be well received. He has his birth 
birthday this weekend while he preps the launch of his wealth course, which again may not be received well given the unfortunate circumstances going on right now. Some of his trades just aren't going the way he planned. His followers are turning against him. His course members are turning against him. His closest friends are distance, distancing themselves away from him because he fails to seek advice from them. Guys, Kevin might have the biggest mental breakdown of his life. As Jeremy says, maybe it might be a good idea for Kevin to just sit on cash, take a break, and just reevaluate his situation. So back to my point, with all the negativity around his brand, it might make sense for him to actually quit for a while because all these negative comments, all the negative commentary can be very painful to deal with. Alternatively, if he does acknowledge what his fans and his friends say about him, he may come out and apologize and rethink his strategy. At the end of the day, Kevin is free to do whatever he wants. But in my opinion, he does have the moral obligation to lead by example the audience and the brand that he has built over the years. On the long-term principles that he preaches of building your queues, breaking the sell button, buying on red days, and certainly not buying on green days, all of which has contradicted what he has been doing as of recent. And just as a side note, guys, if you have been buying a lot of the small caps that Kevin has been talking about, you know, your SoFi's, your Matterports, your Hood, and they continue to drop more, who cares? If you truly believe Kevin's perspective that these, these stocks will three to four X in the upcoming year or the upcoming years, these will easily be 30 or $40 stocks. So even at current prices of $10, who cares if they drop another 20% or so? It's just a $2 difference versus the 20 or $30 upside that you have. So just relax and own your trades rather than panicking. With that, I hope me Kevin can redeem himself because a lot of fans look up to him as a mature investor. I know I do. Kevin, if you're watching this, we appreciate you, man. We just, we just really need the old Kevin back. Is this the end of me, Kevin? What do you guys think?